Hello everyone, uh, this video is all about fish ache which is also known as white spot disease. Uh, basically this disease is very very common. Uh, it, this video will tell you about how how can you identify a ache uh, or a white spot disease on your fishes and how to read it. So when I realized that my fish is affected from the white spot disease, I did some research and I started to treat it. For you to know the signs and symptoms, I did mention those some of those on the videos, but uh, I still I still wanted to tell you that uh, you can see the white spots on the body, and eventually uh, you can see the loss of appetite. Your fish will not eat anything, uh, and they they tend to scratch their body against the rocks or whatever they can find to have some relief. And most importantly, if the disease has been progressed, you can see your fish will be swimming in a 45 degree angle, which is not so good for it because it is already a critical stage, and it might. Uh, put your fish in danger and your fish might die eventually so it's it's very important for you to identify the ick in early stages and to start the treatment I need to talk about the treatment um, I did some research on the internet and I did ask some of my friends regarding this so what I found out was there are a number of ways in treating the ick or white spots what I choose was to treat that with uh, ocean free white spot special medicine it, it, it is basically blue color i think it is also called as ethyl in blue i don't know the specific ingredients but i did follow the dosage which is given on the uh, instructions at the back of the you know, product so they say it's one capful of uh, uh, medicine for eight gallons of water so basically my tank was uh, 6.5 to 7 gallons so i did uh, use like 95 90 percent or 95 percent of the uh, medicine let us talk about the treatment Basically, what, what we have to do is to get the medicine, change 20-30% uh, of water. I mean, this is during the initial stages and this is how I started to treat my fishes. So, basic, basically I had no water heater, I did buy one. Then, I did buy medicine, I did uh, use 90-95% to of the cap to my 7 gallons of tank by changing just 20% of water. Because the more you change, the more stress you give to the fisher. So, just got to change a little, then raise the temperature to 28-30 to 30 degrees centigrade. 30 is the max, they say, but uh, you can still, you know, uh, have some variations for 1 degree or 1.5 degrees like that. So, just keep your reference point for 30 degrees centigrade. Then, do not feed for your fishes for about a week yeah I know it is very difficult uh, thing for you to do um, not letting your fishes to eat but you got to go through with this so in treatment while having those treated you shouldn't be feeding them this is how I initially did start the treatment then after three days I did change 50% of water and I did give the medicine again I mean I did give another dose of medicine then I checked out I was looking for some improvements and yeah there it was uh, my fish was uh, moving it was it was kind of active compared to before it was no more lethargic and that's a good sign of improvement the main thing in here is the medicine and the temperature they really worked for this uh, disease and you shouldn't be dosing them more than said said amount because the more you dose, the more they might not uh, respond for the treatment. You better look out whenever you dose um, your fish tank. If the fishes are responding to the treatment and if you think the disease has been progressed so much, uh, you got to uh, treat at least for a month. But if you think it is not that progress but the fishes are really uh, gaining back their appetite and they are doing good, so all you need to do is dose them for 10 to 15 days will do every three days you dose them so for a period of 10 to 15 days so you when you see the improvement that is the time you can uh, stop the treatment completely and do a full water change uh, you please wash your fish tank and whatever the things you is in there with the hot water i would suggest you to remove all the substrate before starting the treatment because um, they might interfere with the treatment lastly i would like to remind you of two things number one is the fishes please monitor them from time to time and about the heater please make sure the temperature is always within 30 degrees or it must be at least 30 degrees centigrade for you to have a fast uh, improvement for your fishes to have a fast improvement then about the food uh, do not feed them for at least a week but after a week if you see the improvements you can already feed them then about the medicine please check on the dosage whenever you change the water i would like to thank you for making your time in watching this video this is actually my first video um, all i want to do is to share my experience and i hope you learned something from this video if you have any doubts please uh, mention those in the comment section below and i i would be glad to entertain those